In this video, we're going to learn a technique in C to remove parts of our code temporarily for debugging purposes using preprocessor directives. So there's a technique developers use called commenting out code. It's when we use comments to temporarily turn code that normally executes into comments that won't execute. We do this to temporarily turn off parts of our source code. For example, to see if those statements might be responsible for some unwanted behavior, error, or bug. So for example, here, if we thought that whatever work three is doing could be causing an issue, we could comment it out. We could have here a multi-line comment and we could comment out work three. So if we save our program and compile it and run it, we see that work three never executes and that's because work three is a comment. And we did that on purpose. We call this commenting out code. It's a technique we can use to help us discover what could be wrong with our program. Now, the only problem with this technique is that it doesn't play well with multi-line comments because multi-line comments can't be nested. So for example, let's say we want to comment out work two. We could put a multi-line comment around this section of code here and imagine that work two is much larger. Maybe there's even multiple multi-line comments within whatever work to is. The issue is that our multi-line comment that's attempting to comment out work to is actually going to be closed by one of those multi-line comments. So for example, here, our comment starts here, but now it actually ends here. What was the end of this comment here is now the end of our comment. And the beginning of this comment is now part of our comment and the end of our comment is now going to be a syntax error. So if we save the program and try to compile it now, we'll actually get errors. So because we can't nest multi-line comments, it makes it hard to use them to comment out sections of code that include multi-line comments. So as an alternative technique, we could use the preprocessor directive if. We could have here, if zero and end if. And this is a preprocessor directive. So the preprocessor is the first phase in the compilation of a C program. And before our source code is turned into machine code, the preprocessor directives are going to run. Now this if directive here is going to include the source code in the compiled code only if this expression is considered true. But zero is actually considered false. So that means this code here is not going to be included in the compiled program. And we can see even the text editor has already graded out and made it green. So even the editor can recognize what we're doing here. We can save our program and compile it and run it. And we can see that work two was removed from the compiled program. So using the if directive with the expression zero is an alternative technique we can use to essentially comment out sections of our source code. We wouldn't want to leave these directives in our program source code and clutter it up, but as a technique to use for doing some quick debugging, this can be easier to use than multi-line comments. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.